So my motivations behind the project were that I started my MA degree two years ago and mid MA there was obviously the global pandemic and my current project wasn't working, travelling to places like Blackpool and Southport. Um, so I needed something much closer to home because I wanted something that was close physically and mentally as well, something I was connected to. And this space of the canal is something that I was spending a lot of time on, uh, daily for your daily exercise as it were. And I realised quite quickly that it was a real interesting photographic project to be had on the canal. The wide variety and diversity of people who use the space, how diverse and wide this variety of people is, they are connected by this great sort of unifier in, in the canal. Every time I photograph somebody, uh, I ask them for their own personal testimony about why they were on the canal. And when I was reading through them, it all came back to their physical and their mental health and their well-being. I think visually it's really quite stunning because it's not normal to see this much imagery around a canal. Um, I think when reading the stories, it's really nice to see how sort of the lives of people here are not only ingrained sort of in the geography of the canals, but also it's, it's in their lives and their families. Um, and it's just really touching to see how important this little stretch of water is for so many reasons and how it's impacted on people's lives. Photographing people was quite easy once you, you trigger conversations with people. They trust you and they, they want to be photographed. And the canal is one of those spaces where you'll walk down it and you'll just say hello to strangers all the time. And you'll give them a nod and you'll say hi and you can spark conversations that way. For me, like seeing James's enthusiasm in the project and having sort of first had an email from him and then met him in person and it develop over that time it's just been really beautiful because he's so connected to the community around here and he's become more connected through focusing on the project you know it's made him really look at the, the different amount of people involved in using the towpath so i was really glad to be able to offer this space the wharf for him to show it on and it's it's, um, it's made me really happy because part of my goal for this space is that it's to benefit the community as well. So it really is, from, from my point of view, hopefully his as well, it's an ideal mix of like having someone crystallise some of their creative inspiration and me being able to do the first thing using the wharf to support the community. It's been great. I think that's really important why I decided to have the exhibition on Tramway Wharf with the help of Steve, who owns the land because it seemed like the right context and the, and the absolutely appropriate public outcome for it because this is this, the experience of people having and looking at the work photographed in that space, uh, where the photographs were taken, sharing that experience is really important uh, and I've really enjoyed watching people interact with the work, walk along the land, you've got the sights, the smells, the sounds of the canal and the looking at the images and, and the feeling what it was like for those people to be in that space at that time, so it's kind of a shared experience. It's lovely because you can see, it, it's not just focusing on the boaters, but it's focusing on, on a wider community. So you get to see those moments, those snapshots. Boaters are proud of their surroundings, but also what's coming out from the pictures is other people are proud of their surroundings. And, it's, and it really is a, a joyful thing of, look at us. Look, look what's here, you know. There was, um, there was a gentleman that I photographed called Chris who was permanently moored during the pandemic on the canal just behind my shoulder down here and I got chatting to him a few times and he was such a character and he, he does look like kind of a cliche sort of um, canal liverboard photograph but it was at that point in the project where I realised that I was, I was going deeper and I was going further and the photographs were actually becoming better as well. Uh, it's where I felt more confident in my practice, connecting with people, taking my time more, photographing people and speaking to him afterwards and showing him the pictures uh, just made me realise that I was making a lot of headway and that, that was like a turning point in the project. It was around February time where I was probably feeling a bit disenfranchised by it because the weather, the conditions, I wasn't photographing enough people and I wasn't making those connections. But at that point when I photographed Chris, uh, it was a real turning point in the project. It's just a, a fantastic idea. I, mean, I think, I think um, so many of us have, who already knew about the towpath have um, discovered a whole new dimension to it over the course of the past year, 14 months. Um, certainly I've been using it a lot, lot more 
and um, just the idea of, of capturing some of that and the people who are making use of the towpath, the people who are living on the narrow boats. I think it's just a, a brilliant idea and um, hopefully we'll look back from better times ahead and look back on this and think they were some interesting images from an interesting time. I see the project, uh, even though this is kind of the public outcome, I don't see it's the end of the project. Speaking to people today at the exhibition, I've arranged more shoots with people. People I've photographed before, new people as well who want to get involved in the project. So it's, it's spreading the net further into the community and photographing people. So I see myself carrying on this project for a, a, another, you know, a good period of time and maybe producing a second booklet to go along with it, as well as the first booklet that I've made. Um, so yeah, definitely see it continuing.